Have you looked into how much it would cost to get these fixed? You know. How many times a month does a customer show up here anxious to buy a new or used car? Fired up about buying a new or used car, and an hour and a half later they leave because they couldn't buy because of negative equity. Does it happen here in Greer, South Carolina? Yes. Mm -hmm. Every now and then. Every now and then. Mostly now. Why are most people upside down? They trade too often. Them for too long. Or they didn't put enough to cash down. Yeah. The, the, the two big ones, yes. uh, I, I, I throw all three in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? They want to trade too often, they finance them for too long, and they don't put any cash down. Right. Mm -hmm. When I was a finance manager, the term upside down referred to a pineapple cake. Nobody was upside down. Negative equity wasn't even a term. Nobody was upside down. Why? Because you had two separate books. Just kidding. <laughs> you were financing on shorter terms. Yeah. Thirty-six months was the maximum term. Yeah. Right. My most, short term my most lenient lender had to have twenty-five yeah. percent real cash yeah. or real equity. We used to send people to small loan companies to borrow money against their furniture in order to get a down payment for a car. And then the federal the federal government outlawed that. Damn it. Um, <laughs> All right, so do we have an obligation to show the customer the best way to buy a car? Yes. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hitchhike on what Robbie said right here, except I'm going to take it a little deeper um, in that I'm going to give the customer seven good reasons to put down cash. And you tell me if it makes sense. Because um, as a manager, Jonathan, would you like to have more cash to work with, easier to structure a deal? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. pa payment's going to be lower, easier to get someone to say yes to a lower payment than a higher payment. Um, it certainly pleases our lenders. But most of all, most of all, it's good for the customer. Okay?